Hello guys, I quickly just wanted to pop in and say hello and introduce myself. Hello, my name is Drew and this is my channel if you're new here. And if you guys have any other workout recommendations for me, please let me know in the comments below. I'm looking to, you know, get into the cycle of working out at home and I don't know which one to do next. I might be able to do like another Chloe Ting one, please, no, but... I guess I can. <laughs> Most of the exercises that I did during this challenge were the low impact exercises just because I'm scared I'm gonna hurt my ankles because they're not the strongest as well as this house is old so it's quite rickety and you can literally hear everything that I do even when I'm doing low impact. But yeah, let's get right into it. So just over two weeks ago, I decided to start this challenge. My posture wasn't great, I didn't feel as strong, and I wanted those famous Chloe Ting abs. Days one to three were pretty good. I did start off by almost getting hit by the ball that my dog was throwing, but otherwise a great start. Look out! <laughs> And clearly I was also very uncoordinated and obviously out of shape. My first three plus days, I could barely finish the workout. Now a little bit of sweat happened. <sighs> and my form was also less than ideal most of the time. Oh, oh, going through puberty, but it slowly improved. My dog also loved visiting me, but usually it involved getting in my way. Luckily day four was a rest day because that's when my scalp issues began, but hoping it was just a one-time thing, I powered through day five. But woke up to unbearable burning itchiness on my poor, poor scalp which I believe could be caused by like my headphones sitting on my head and then me not taking my hair out once I'm done working out, but I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. I have a history with scalp dryness, itchiness, and irritation I thought I had gotten rid of, but I guess I didn't. I was up this morning at like 6.30, just trying to fall back asleep with like a burning head. So I got up and I rinsed my hair out and I put some jojoba on my scalp. So I just got out of the shower because I was so fed up with the discomfort. I can't focus on anything else except for my scalp and it feels okay, but I'm a little scared to take it out of my shirt because I don't want it to be itchy. I don't know what I'm gonna do because this is like unbearable. I'm almost, I'm so close to quitting this because I'm so, I hate, I hate this. I hate this feeling. I'm at a wit's end here, guys. It feels good now. I'm putting it into the universe that my scalp feels good. I'm also not naked, I'm wearing a towel. I'm, to be quite honest with you, I'm really excited for this workout two weeks to be done. Ultimately, I did decide to skip day six out of fear that if I push too hard, I'd deal with some serious consequences regarding my scalp and hair because it was just so raw and so irritated. I was going, I really, really, really wanted to stick to my workout schedule, but I just don't think I can do it to my hair tonight because I know I sweat so much when I do these workouts. So I've got a bunch of jojoba oil in my scalp and in my hair that I'm hoping that will help to moisturize my scalp because it's so, it's still red, it's still quite irritated and it was starting to get itchy again. So I know that it's dry. So I'm doing 
a nice deep conditioning oil treatment for it. Hopefully that'll help a little bit. I did order a co-wash off of Amazon. The co-wash that I did order is specifically made for dry flaky scalp, so hopefully that will help me. But the next evening, my scalp felt okay enough to pick up where I left off, and this time with no headphones to potentially trap the sweat on the sensitive and already irritated parts of my scalp along with doing a really thorough rinse post-workout. Another thing I think made a big difference was that I changed into shorts so I didn't produce as much sweat since I didn't get as hot. All of the things that I did seem to have done the trick because I never dealt with the unbearable itch for the rest of the challenge. Today is day nine. Uh, yeah, that's nine. Okay. Honestly, you guys, if I hadn't have already missed a day because of my scalp situation, I probably wouldn't be doing this workout tonight because I have so much work that I have to do, but I'm just going to get it done and I will see you after. <sighs> and I'm done. Whew, look at how red my cheeks are. Oh. Just, just bloody sweating. All right, shower time. Shower's done. Now I'm going to have an ice cream bar. <laughs> Probably not great for the outcome of my abs, but it's fine. It's fine. You got to treat yourself. You know what I'm saying? Hey guys, so today is supposed to be day 10. Today has just been a hectic day. I'm not going to get into it. I ended up coming home and taking a nap for like, I think four hours. It's past midnight at this point. I don't have room to work out at in my bedroom, unfortunately, so I have to work out in, you know, common areas of the house and everybody else is already sleeping. So today is just gonna be a rest day. I'm gonna get back into it tomorrow. Sometimes life just gets in the way. So I just wanted to give you guys the quick heads up on that, but I'll see you guys ready to go tomorrow. So clearly here, I forgot to turn on my mic, but I was essentially saying that I didn't feel like working out, but I was going to just get it over with. I struggled really, really hard to finish this workout. I felt oddly drained and pretty moody, which I think you can pick up in these clips. I actually spent the following two days basically doing nothing because it turned out that it was PMS until the second night when I forced myself to work out again. I literally did my makeup to see if that would like make me feel a little bit better. I'm pushing myself to do this workout today. I'm gonna do day 12 and then hopefully I can finish these next two days after this strong. And I'm hoping after I do my workout tonight, I'll feel a little bit better. So we're gonna do a real quick transition and I'll see ya for me in 50 minutes for you in less than a second. So let's do it. Whew. That was day 12. I look, I needed a shower. My lips are really dry. I picked that, but I'm feeling better. I'm feeling much better, so that's good. Today is day 13. I'm so excited. I always do this though. It's like quarter after eight and I'm always waiting until the very end of the day to get my workout done. I'm a little frustrated by that, but tomorrow, hopefully I will have my full 60 minute workout done earlier on in the day. Well, I have to have it done before three so that I can take my after pictures because I want them to be as close and as similar to the before pictures as I can get them to be. So let's get this workout done. There, my dog is annoying me. <laughs> Staring at me while I work out and trying to concentrate on not dying. And that's day 13 done. Wow. Even though that was only 35 minutes, I don't even think it was a total of 35 minutes because I don't do the cool down. That was brutal. I'm like dripping. I am just soaked right now. <laughs> and I'm so excited to knock. I can't even hold the camera up. My arms are so sore. I'm so excited to knock day 14 out of the park tomorrow. It's going to be so good. And I'm so excited to be done at this challenge because whew. These workouts, man, oh my gosh. I highly recommend this challenge, you guys. It's, it's kicking my butt, that's for sure. <laughs> Day 14 was a killer workout. It was 60 minutes minus the cool down part because I didn't do that, which in hindsight might've been a good idea just to, you know, really stretch out my muscles and everything. I am currently doing a splits slash stretching challenge. So that's kind of what I did to replace the cool down with. But I must say this workout almost broke me. I also have to admit that my scalp issues definitely almost 
made me quit the challenge, I'm not even gonna lie. But in the end, I felt so good. I felt really accomplished because I actually finished the entire challenge, even though it took a couple of extra days, but better late than never, they always say. I do feel significantly stronger. I felt that as I progressed throughout the two weeks, my form did get significantly better. In hindsight, it would have been a really good idea for me to look back on these clips just to see where I needed to improve. But I am really glad that I got all of this on camera so that I am able to see where I am in a year from now. I know you guys are excited to obviously see the before and after pictures because I know I was excited to see the big difference and I do need to preface these pictures by saying that the after picture I was flexing just because I wanted to see how my muscle tone was coming along and I'm honestly I'm looking at the pictures right now I'm honestly really proud of how much definition you can already see. It wasn't exactly what I was hoping for. I think I got my hopes up a little too high for this, but I'm definitely very proud of myself for how much stronger I look and how much my posture seems to have improved when I pay attention because right now I'm totally slouching. I also found that I got so much better at the workouts. Day 14, that 60 minute workout, I thought was gonna kill me at the beginning, but it was not that bad. And I did power through it because I wanted to really push myself during that last workout. I think the last three days I did that. I think the difference is pretty, pretty clear. I'm very excited about it and I do just show you because I had eaten I do just show you that this is just my natural body and I might have some muscle definition underneath but on top I still got a little bit of that soft cloud you know <laughs> I'm not quite to where Chloe Ting's abs are but I'm definitely on the road to being there and obviously I'll never look exactly the way that she does which is fine well there you have it guys I hope you guys enjoyed this challenge video and I hope that it inspired you to take on your own Chloe Ting two-week shred challenge or any of the other challenges that she has because she has so many on her website Chloe Ting's website and YouTube channel will be in the description box below just in case you're interested in any of her programs or interested in watching any of her YouTube videos or if you haven't heard of her which I think everybody has at this point well if you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you any kind of motivation or inspiration to do your own challenge please be sure to hit that like button because it really does support my channel as well as hit the subscribe button if you're interested in any future videos that I will be making and hit the notification bell to be notified of those videos that I will be making lastly be sure to follow me on all of my social media they're always the pinned comment in the comments and I will see you guys next time Bye.